it's not a joke. You don't think about answering the phone while you're writing your verses. You know, you really, you really got up your game every single song. My music's quite honest. You know, I really just tell the truth. I have fun with it, but I keep it real honest. And I think that's what the everyday person connects with. You know, that reality, you know, whether I talk about having an argument with a girlfriend, you know, you, everyone can kind of relate to it, you know. When, when you start off on the private radio scene, you never know if anybody's listening. But for me, it was just about trying to get heard and, and sharpening my skills, learning how to hold the mic. Even the smallest thing, you know, you've got to pay attention to the smallest details. See, I spend a little change on you, <laughs> but you always give it back. The sign, know you ain't here for the money. See, you just want to see me be the man, so I earn my respect like a true gentleman. All rumors were capital E relevant, uh, and we should get free two ambulances. I give my life to you, that's a street settlement. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling ever so emotional, cause I never had nothing when approaching you. Sitting with a straight face on a poker move. Why a song like this has been overdue, due over time, time over. Love drunk, you and I would die sober. I'm in this for forever and a day, that's why anywhere I go, they go up with you so on a plane, don't, don't go. Don't leave. I told them, don't leave. Please stay. North London in Tottenham and an estate called Tivert and Estate. Done my fair bit of stuff. But you know what happens? You grow older and, and, and you see sense in some things and you and you don't see sense in other things. And um, you know, sometimes you just choose a path and when I started making music it kinda meant more to me than fighting and, and all them other kind of things because it was a um it was, it was a better way of, of getting my attention out and, and getting what I want to say and getting my point across. It made a lot more sense to, to pursue making music because it had a, 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 a it, it was a potentially a job, you know, and potentially a career. Obviously at that time, keyword being potential. In life, my, my desire has nothing to do with money. It's weird because I couldn't care less for a penny. I'm honestly like that. Um, to, to get into music, it was because I wanted to vent. There were so many times when I felt like this might not happen or this is costing too much or it takes too much time. But um, just just the belief in, in myself that I've got something to say and I, and, I, and I think it's just me really feeling strongly about my skills. The greatness was made in the city I'm from. The whole scene came from the city I'm from. I feel like with me, it's just about honesty and, and, and talking about my reality. When you have that honesty, you get to connect with people. Young boy growing up, spitting in the park. Young kid growing up, spitting in the park. And when he walks out, they got to put the mic on. That's me. Every box, let them get their type on. Anything's possible. It's just about giving that belief. Singing is the proof, and the proof unravels when you're good at shooting hoops and you end up traveling. When I've achieved all of my dreams, the stage is where greatness is made. It's your time now, let's take it away. It's all about really trying to reach and achieve your goals. I believe that, you know, your talent is a gift. So it's just about using the gift right now. It's your time now, let's take it away, hey. To be able to be blessed with a gift where people are going to listen to you and connect with you, that's the main thing. It's a great feeling, man. I'm not content. I'm always trying to break the boundaries and I'm always trying to get better. So for me, we do less celebrating and we try and do more elevating. Like, this is what I like to say to everyone, like all the youths and that. You lot are the future in the present. So try your hardest to make history. And think about that. I'll say it one more time. You lot are the future in the present. So try your hardest to make history. Work your socks off, work your ass off. Want to be the best, chase the dream. Don't let anything knock you back. And I think once you know it's possible, I don't see the problem with going for it. You know, always want to make a difference. I think I always look at it like people that made a difference are never forgotten. Anything.